Good morning, this is Brian with Forest Hills Memorials. It is Monday, July 17th, and it's a beautiful morning out. I actually opened the windows up at the, the house and here at the office. Um, it's probably in the 60s out right now, so it's only supposed to be a, a high in the upper 70s, which is great. Um, Usually Mondays are tough to come in. We actually had a nice weekend. But on uh, this Monday, I was pretty excited to come in because we once again have the Dodge. So the crane got, hopefully the crane got fixed. Uh, auto craned, you know, it was just out of warranty, but auto crane went ahead and sent out some uh, pieces under warranty just because they shouldn't have gone out so auto crane sent a new gear there and then they also sent uh, the gear that's on the shaft here that turns around that bigger gear and then I want to say they did something in here so they ended up warrantying some of those parts because you know the cranes only two years old and those parts shouldn't be worn out already so Super excited to use this truck again. Um, you know, the bed's bigger. Crane's obviously new. It's got that wireless remote, which is nice. Don't have to trip over the cable anymore. Uh, the Chevy is still sitting again now over at Midwest. Um, it needs to get sent to a kind of a specialty shop to get tuned. So that's. That's what we're thinking is next, is that that thing needs to be told what to do. So, out of my expertise. So I do know this morning we're gonna be loading up. We've got a pretty good, probably a five foot bronze anyway, five foot granite piece in the bronze. We're gonna go set over at our one of our SCI parks in town here. And then the other one we've got to do is this one here. Uh, for the Welling family, so we're gonna go do both of those today. Uh, we still gotta load them up, gotta get connected to the trailer and all of that, but that is what we're gonna work on. Um, I know I'm gonna have a long day after after we get done installing today. I've gotta do stuff for uh, my cemetery. Got an appointment at a family's house at 4.30. And then I've got an appointment at the local funeral home at five. And then I've got to go back to the family's house. So I'll probably not get done today until seven or after. So it's gonna be a long day, but we are going to get it done and we will bring you along. Just doing two, but I know this one for Welling here is probably a little over an hour away. So it's gonna be some some drive time and then if we do get back we can load up for uh, tomorrow which tomorrow we'll have a tomorrow we have a project so that gray base there looks like an older piece we were redoing the foundation last year for that and when we pulled that out of the ground it had a rocky bottom so you guys in this industry know that back in the day they would wet set stones and the bottom would be rocky so it didn't matter we went and redid that foundation and now it needs to sit flat on that foundation so we needed the bottom flat so i had to go bring it into a, a place that had a big enough wire saw that could cut that bottom flat so we could set it flat so so we might load up for tomorrow yeah, if we get back here in time but we are going to get started and we'll take you along Well, it wouldn't be a Monday if something didn't go wrong already, so we got the tail of the two trucks still messing with me, and it's beginning to turn into a horror story. We, uh, we're loading this piece up. Might as well turn this off. This crane has a shutoff down here, so... We were loading the die up on here and it was going at an absolute snail's pace. So um, when we got the crane back on, when we got the crane back on Friday, 
uh, we unloaded a, a pallet of stone and then you know the, the crane worked as it should uh, back the truck up we we're getting ready to load all of this up and the crane started doing exactly what it was doing you know the other day when or I guess when this all started you know it was running real slow um, when the boom extension goes in or if the boom goes down it pulls a lot of amps and uh, it just wasn't running right so went over and talked to Rick uh, Rick is the owner over at Midwest and he came over and put his battery tester on the battery that's below the crane <clears throat> and it was only at 3% so just completely drained that battery <coughs> so he's got uh, it's a Napa battery so it's an 850 cranking amp Napa battery so he's got Napa bringing out a new battery and then now <coughs> the wonder is that battery is obviously not getting charged uh, the motor itself and the two batteries that are in here they're all in line and it should be charging that battery and it's not so just you know obviously puts a damper on the day <clears throat> changes the entire schedule we're gonna have to call the cemeteries that we were supposed to work at today and let them know that we're not coming and then what we are probably gonna do today so the Chevy is still having EGR issues um, you know it goes into limp mode but I can use it you know perfectly fine here on the lot so I'm probably gonna back that truck all the way up so we have some room to put some pieces we have quite a few stones showing up again those are supposed to go to a local cemetery needed some bronze backers so I got those for them I got to bring those over supposed to be doing that on Wednesday and all of this might be changing but um, unloaded quite a few flush markers uh, and bevels well, we got a couple of bevels in that are blank here that you know we got to put on our bevel area for pieces that are to be sold and I think the other two pallets you know I'd like to get those opened up those crates and then I still got two crates out here of blank stones that are still wrapped up so I think what we're gonna do I'm probably gonna go get the Chevy and then we'll start breaking these crates down and unpacking all of these stones. Um, so these should all be just blank pieces. So we'll get them loaded up. We'll get them all uncrated. And I know there's a couple. I'd like to put this black dye inside the office. Um, it's for sale. So I'd like to have it set up so we can do that today we can do things like that around the yard I'd like to get these weeds sprayed I don't like when all this asphalt needs to really be replaced but I like to try to keep up on the forest that grows out of it so we're gonna do stuff like that today we're gonna work around the yard best we can so I'm gonna go over to Midwest grab those Chevy keys and then we're gonna work here today
So what we're gonna do with this gray one, we're gonna hand cart it in here and probably put the gray one over here on the other side of this India red base. And then we've got a black die out there that we're gonna do the same thing to. We'll lift it up and hand cart it in here and uh, we'll put it on that base. And then the Johnson family will get one of our crated bases that's outside. That way, we still need two more for in here, but I'll have to look and see what we can get shipped out to have on our indoor floor. The other side of that red base. Here. Other side, other side of it. Here. Right next to it. Oh. I like having things right by this black one because that black one's not moving. Oh, missed the roller. Go ahead and just throw it over. You guys got a question? Oh. What was he thinking? Well, he sent some pictures too. Yeah, I saw those. Can you stand on that? No. Got it? Yeah. Coming towards you. I should be able to just slide this out pretty easily. All right, one done. So that Paradiso bevel I'm gonna grab next and we're gonna stick it next to that uh, Dakota bevel on the floor. So I think we're gonna have to set it off to the side on like some sticks that we're not gonna use. And then we'll pick it up and stick it back where we want it. Okay. Cause I can't get in there, so it's just... I think you need to go back, you'll hit that. Okay. So then you move the sticks forward? <laughs> I was, I mean, this is gonna be off the stones. I mean, off the sticks. Let's move that 12 by 12. Which one? That. This one. I want to put it out here so we don't kill ourselves. And then we'll just, you know, walk it in. Okay. Use two hands. Two, three. Yeah. Did you just watch that thing? Yeah. You want us to skip it? 
Oh, I don't. You're gonna get it better. That was just through the mobile wash. Oh, it looks like you got tire shine on and everything. Yeah. Did yeah, you don't. That? No, I did that. Oh. Man, you want a job? <laughs> I just didn't know. All right, we'll watch it. No, it's up to you. If they're busy, don't worry about it. No, it's part of it. I just wanted to make sure. This one, I'm on straight granite here. The thing moved. You good? Oh my god. Damn on that. There we go. Yeah, that is nasty on that side. I'm gonna go shut the truck off. Okay, I'm gonna start washing it. had Rick from Midwest come over take a look at the Dodge here good afternoon how are you getting there I've been sweating <laughs> got the sun. I can't imagine wearing all that fire retardant Outfit and uh, probably doesn't feel too good in the sun. It's warm too. It's like on top of dark. I used to work at General Mills as a facilities manager in a place up there called the Tank Farm. Ten thousand gallons, of different bases and yogurts that they made their sauces out of. Granola. All right, so I think that's going to be that's going to be it for today. Um, we got this one unloaded. We got the bevel set over here, so it's not much of a bevel display, but I like to keep a couple of these colors in inventory. Uh, we put one inside a Paradiso. We got a black there. I've got another black over here uh, set aside, and then we've got another color. I don't remember what I even ordered. There's a black bevel on the other side of this truck. I'm gonna go look, cause now I'm wondering. So we got a black bevel sitting there, and then I think this one below it's a Bahama blue bevel. So eventually I do wanna take both of those and put them over there. 
Uh, we unloaded that slant. That three foot base goes to that die. Um, I don't remember what else we took off, but anyway, yeah, bench went there. So we got those pallets unloaded. Uh, it was a Monday, so um, you know, sometimes you just got to go with the flow. Life swings at you and you got to make changes. So we were going to go out and get stuff set today, but uh, truck had other plans. So I'm going to see, I had LPT over here. They do all the service work on like our oil changes and stuff and detail jobs. So I'm going to go see, they did my, they did my uh, ram today, did all the fluids and uh, um, water separator, stuff like that on the diesel. I'm gonna go see if that's done. I gotta go run some errands. I need to pick a few things up at PharmaFleet uh, and also Ace Hardware. So uh, I'm gonna do that stuff, maybe get a shower in before I start my cemetery duties tonight. Uh, so we'll do that and then we'll check in with you tomorrow. Hopefully, I don't even know if I wanna test that. So Rick said, you know, work it with the battery that's in there. I got another brand new battery. He's gonna charge the other one, but I don't wanna be out you know over an hour away and have the battery quit right in the middle of setting something so uh hopefully he's gonna talk to auto crane about why it's not getting juice and uh he said the guy over at the diesel shop is ready for that so i have a feeling we're gonna get this over to the diesel shop have this tuned this will probably be ready before that so hopefully that's the case and we'll have a truck. So I'm gonna to talk to Beth, figure out if she wants to take that over in the morning and then, um, then we'll go from there. But appreciate you watching and we will see you on the next one.